गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर विलासराव गोरपडे एस जी एम कॉलेज खराब टुडे वी विल लर्न द स्केलअप ऑफ द फर्मेंटेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विथ द स्केलअप ऑफ द फर्मेंटेशन सो वॉट इज स्केलअप ऑफ द फर्मेंटेशन so when any pharmaceutical industry is started production of any antibiotic or any drug or any fermentative product you have started how the fermentation conditions are determined that is the question unless it is a scale up the fermentation conditions are not employed in the fermentation industry because a million gallon capacity you are employing a million gallon capacity of the media you use in the fermentation tank so there should be some sort of scale up is carried out so we will see what is the meaning of scale up of oil that is the basic definition of scale up of the fermentation is determination of determination of proper proper incubation proper incubation conditions to be employed to be employed to the large fermentation tanks fermentation tank fermentation tank with as based based on information information obtain obtain from small various fermentation tank is called as is called as scale up of fermentation see whatever conditions are there that conditions you are applying to the large fermentation tank now basic question comes how to employ these conditions how you have to uh, obtain this information so you have to carry out the experiment with a very small various fermentation tanks so first you have to carry out the experiment in the laboratory scale and once you carry out the experiment and you design the fermentation conditions the incubation conditions and that should be employed to the larger scale means a million gallon capacity you can employ it now if you see every pharmaceutical industry or any fermentation industry always they have research and development wing they are continuously even though fermentation is old or even though fermentation is new they are continuously updating their fermentation conditions and that can be employed to this now a small example we will take if you take an example of the different types of the fermentation i will tell you one fermentation that is two types of the fermentation are there one is called as continuous fermentation and second one is batch fermentation if you take the continuous fermentation this is a fermentation tank if you see this is a fermentation tank continuous addition of nutrients is there and continuous withdrawal of the nutrients withdrawal of the fermentative product is carried out fermentative product is taken out now the question come how to carry out the experiment here because this full of the medium is there you cannot carry out the experiment on the large scale because you will get the failure of this one and when you fail in that the cost and the expenses the question of the cost and the expenses comes you will come in the loss so here the scale up of fermentation is only to validate the technical and the cost the cost and the technical 
of the project is very important. So you determine the cost and the technical of this one. So for that validation of this one, scale of fermentation is very important. Because generally, almost all type of large experiment is done now carried out in the ferment, large fermentation tanks. Done now carried out on the large fermentation tanks. But, but the experiment in the large fermentation tanks, fermentation tank is not rule locked. Because there are many industries are there, they have finding the some alternative fermentation tanks for the experiment. But even though this is true, very few fermentation they are doing R and D, everything R and D research and the development. Always they are formulation of the fermentation conditions are carried out. Now the basic things comes how this scale up of fermentation is carried out. Now we will study the process of the fermentation industry, how they carry out the scale up of the fermentation. Now the process. The initial experiment, initial experiment is carried out in Erlen Mayer flask. Erlen Mayer flask. Flask. So this is a flask. This flask are having bipoles. A screening, screening, secondary screening of the organism is carried out. And the flask is kept on rotary shaker. There is poor aeration is carried out, agitation is carried out, and the experiment is carried out with the poor conditions and all this, and you are getting some results on that. Once you get the success, then this experiment is carried out in the fermentation tank, in the fermentation tank, having capacity, capacity 1 to 10 liter or sometimes 12 liters is also taken and the conditions are maintained. maintain is similar to the production tank. Here what we are using the fermentation tank, we are using the small fermentation tank and the media which is contained to 1 to 10 liter media is there. All conditions are maintained that the aeration and agitation is well fine and the fermentation and the incubation period and the all it is determined here. And once you get the success in this, the another experiment is carried out with the fermentation tank. Having 25 to 100 gallon capacity. that is called as pilot scale fermentation where almost fermentation conditions are derived. fermentation conditions are derived fermentation conditions are derived and that are similar to similar to the production tank Now, 
you have started your experiment with the erlen mayer flask then you have carried out the experiment with the 10 to 10 liter capacity then you are carried out the experiment with the pilot scale having the capacity of 25 to 100 gallon capacity so the fermentation conditions you are devised in the erlen mayer flask that is the experiment you are carried out in the laboratory same experiment you are carried out to the large fermenter having the capacity of the 1 to 10 liter same experiment is carried out this is not the sufficient now this all experiment what you are successing all this they are carried out this experiment is again carried out into the intermediate fermentation tank that is intermediate production tank carried out the experiment is carried out experiment is carried out in the intermediate intermediate production tank which is in between which is in between the pilot pilot fermentation tank and the production tank production tank that means if suppose the pilot scale is having a capacity of 25 liter and the capacity of production tank is 1000 gallon then the intermediate tank will be a 500 gallon capacity almost all methodical almost all mathematical conditions are employed are mathematically validated validated means the conditions we are incubation conditions what you are determined in this intermediate tank same conditions are employed in the fermentation tanks production tank now this is called as a scale up of the fermentation now this has a very important the scale up of the fermentation tanks generally in the large fermentation tanks the experiments are not carried out because the media used in huge amount a labor is used in more number electricity electricity is required is more if if there is some failure failure in scale up scale up that leads to huge losses so that's so that's why almost scale up is carried out from flask to intermediate intermediate fermentation tank 
to production tank. In this, a chances of failure is very less. Chances of failure is very less. And when you have to make technically and the cost wise your production is viable at that time scale up of fermentation is the most essential. So that's why every industry is doing the research and development wing and almost all the profit, most of the profit is spend on the research and the development. Unless you carried off the scale up of the fermentation, the design of the fermentation of big fermentation tanks is very difficult. Thank you.